I didn't make a more presentable video and I don't think I'm ever going to make a, a formal video with my channel. Um, I just got done doing a whole bunch of videos and I just wanted to say that uh, to the producers and to the people who included me in that video of Johnny versus Amber Heard. This is what I have to say to you. Thank you very much for proving my point. <laughs> you guys included me in your in your documentary. And obviously you were trying to paint your political narrative and feministic movement also with the Me Too based on the fact that all women are victims. Let me tell you from a woman who actually has survived domestic abuse. Not all women are meant to be believed because they're not all telling the truth. I survived domestic abu abuse. I've been raped by a man who was a bum and I helped him in 2017, and me and a friend of mine, very close friend of mine that I've known for many years, we were trying to help this guy to his home. Long story short, he drugged us both, and he raped me for hours. This was in 2017. I've healed from that, and I actually send love to that man, but I'll tell you something right now. I've been tested by the universe many times when that man came back into my life in the streets. And there was an instance in my life where I, I was tempted to run that man over with my car, but I didn't. I had the opportunity. I was right there at my wheel in my car, and I never did. Because all that kept going on in my mind was that my daughter was in the back seat, and all I thought about was not revenge, not, not even justice, love. That was the most important thing in my mind in that moment. And as tears ran down my face, I knew being right wasn't more important. Being justified in what that man did to me wasn't even more important. It was what my child would remember for the rest of her life if she saw me do that. My pride was being tested. My love for myself, my love for my daughter was being tested. A true survivor in domestic abuse doesn't choose revenge. They choose justice in the right way. Amber Heard has been wrong all along, and she's been lying about everything. As a psychic, that's my job. And I do these, these readings for people for a living, for free, all the time. And a lot of you people, a lot of people, you want to make jokes about the little guy and you want to sit there and make videos and put vid put people in your fucking videos. So I got news for you, production company. You did me a big fucking favor more than anyone could ever imagine. There are people in the world right now going, that was really fucked up that they painted you that way, but... To me, I'm looking at it this as, this is a gift from the universe. Because this is me finally having my voice coming out. And also, that was my psychic prediction. I predicted that. And I hope, I pray, Johnny Depp sees this video to know that even you guys are wrong. Even psychics see through Amber's lies. And I don't even make any money. Even when Amber was in her movie, I knew right then and there something was wrong with her. I knew right then and there she was a fucking liar. And I didn't even know her. But I knew right then and there. And then when all of this stuff came out, when she won in the whole Sun case against, with the Sun magazine against Johnny Depp, or John, Johnny, let me, I think it was Johnny and he was trying to go suing the Sun magazine, something like that. I don't know a lot of that stuff. But I do know this, as a girl in Alaska, I know one thing, that a lot of you people in fucking Hollywood like to pick on the little guy, and you guys like to cancel people at the best of your expense. Well, newsflash, Alaskans don't give a fuck about your Hollywood, and we don't give a fuck about your pride, and we don't give a fuck about your politics. I'm not even a Republican. 
I'm a witch, ironically. And I didn't plan on making this video. I was actually going to do a different video, but I decided, you know what? It's time I go back and say something to you people because it's really fucked up that you wanted to use that and even the other people who were talking about her. But you did us the biggest favor. You gave us the free publicity that we needed. I've been doing YouTube for years and <sighs> I've got so much, so much shit from people. And even if you never watch this, fine. But if you do... I'm going to pray for you to see the inside of the truth. Just because a woman yells rape doesn't mean she's telling the truth. People said that I was lying about the man who raped me. And I didn't go into extreme details of what he did. Yeah, he raped, he raped me for hours. I was drugged. I was date raped. Date rape drug, date drug, something like that. The drugs. And the thing is, is the reason why I say something like that is because I don't know what drug he used. He drugged my friend, who was a male. He wasn't a, he wasn't a woman. He was a man. I was paralyzed. I couldn't do anything about it. And I was in so much pain, I was hurt. But the thing about surviving rape is the difference is we actually remember the details. We don't change our stories. We don't remember all these details and then we forget something else. I remember the month it happened. It was in a February. It was in February. And the fact remains is that I just want anyone who sees this to realize that if you believed in Amber, keep this in mind. Not all men are evil men. No matter who they are, no matter what the, let's say, let's say this, okay? Let's say even in hindsight, Johnny Depp does struggle with drugs. He does struggle with alcohol. You know what? We all have fucking problems. I struggled with alcohol for years, but I wasn't an, an addict. I wasn't an alcoholic, but I did struggle with alcohol because of that man raping me. And for other people that raped me, more than one man, and even when I was eight years old, I survived rape at eight. And I didn't even go after the people who did that. You know why? Because I knew love was the answer. Not going after a man's money. Because money doesn't buy you justice. Money doesn't buy you revenge. Money doesn't give you clarity and it doesn't give you peace. And even if you get buried with that money, it will be gone. Because bugs and the universe will dissipate it and you will have nothing but your conscience left for all the lies that Amber sent out. And I'm a, I am a fan of Johnny. But even then, I was skeptical at first too. But even in my heart, I knew Johnny is not a baiter. Maybe he's fucked up. Maybe he's done stupid shit out of reaction. But even I don't know him, and he's not an abuser. And I'm a psychic, and I've never even met this man. And people may say I'm a liar, but you know what? I predicted that this woman was a liar two fucking years ago in that video that Discovery Plus put me in. I exposed it two years ago in 2020. If you don't believe me, go check out the video. The description will be in the link. The link will be in the description below. My dyslexia is getting it backwards, but yeah. I also predicted earthquakes that happened four years in advance. The one that happened in 2018, I predicted that one. It was pretty major here in Alaska. It was a 7.3, 7.2, something around that. They changed it. They said 7.3 and then they changed it to 7 point, something like that. It lasted over a minute long. The point is, is that it doesn't matter to me if you guys believe me, if these, these producers believe me. They obviously wanted to pick on the little guy, smaller channels, but you know what? There's my ego that wants to go to say something about that. But I've decided I'm just going to go and let it go and say thank you. Because at the end of the day, Amber is going to get her justice through karma. Because the fact of the matter is, 
the universe doesn't forget lies. It doesn't matter how many times you try to lie and lie and lie to cover up another lie. The universe will always know the first lie. And it won't be distracted by those others. And I can't wait for the day when Johnny walks out of that office with justice. Because this will be a movement for not just him, but for a lot of men that are wrongly accused of rape. Because I'll say this last piece too. When Amber Heard described how Johnny raped her, I tell you this much. When I described my rape in 2017, I could barely speak. I could barely get it out. I could barely say it. But I didn't hyperventilate like I was having a fucking panic attack. It doesn't take a genius to know that the way she was speaking, it was very theatrical. It doesn't take a psychic to see that. But I will also say this. As a woman who has survived sexual abuse, as a woman who has survived rape, even when I was eight, Women like Amber Heard have no fucking clue what it really means to survive that. She has no idea. Because you would know that that in itself is so transformative to your soul in a big way that you realize you never want to hurt another person like the way you were hurt. That's the difference. You never want to hurt another person that way because you know how damaging it is to the soul vibration. You know how damning it, damning it is to you as a person. How she can sleep at night is narcissistic. And I know that they'll probably never see this video, but as the person who was in that video, in that discovery documentary, I think I should have a voice and say, I was not aware that I was in that Discovery Plus documentary and I was not at all informed that I was gonna be in it. I, had, I didn't make any money off that, nothing. And yes, it actually was me. And a lot of people say, why don't you put a link? You must be lying. I can't put a link. It's a fucking subscription. You have to actually go to the Discovery Plus, check it out yourself. There are plenty of people who have already verified it's me. I don't know what else to say. I don't want to take any more of your guys' precious time because you have more people to go ruin lives, but ruin other people's lives. But I'm just going to say is that I don't think you guys are bad people, the producers. I just think you're very misguided. And, you know, I used to think I wanted to be in Hollywood. I used to think that I wanted to be an actress. I used to think that I wanted to do something on TV. I actually got auditioned one time, and they told me that I was good enough for TV. They were talent agents for TV. But I realized that wasn't for me because I knew that the truth was is that Nothing good comes out of it. I mean, look what happened to Johnny. He put his entire life into that, and it was completely ripped out of him like nothing. And that's completely unfair. And I hope Johnny sees this and knows that I was in complete support for him in the documentary. I wasn't even featured in it. I doubt Johnny will see this, but he's got a heart of gold, and more people need to be more like him. And just because he has a weakness for drugs or alcohol or whatever it is that doesn't make him a bad person, what I actually sense psychically is that his third eye awakened, he's an empath, and he's psychically so advanced that his heart chakra is looking for more. He's looking for a deeper meaning in his life, something deeper. And that's actually one of the bigger reasons why he evolves and he's able to be into these characters is because he's an empath. Empathic people are able to pick up the energies of people very, very quickly. They're chameleons. And that's Johnny. 
that's Johnny to a T in every movie he's ever done. There's no one like him. And that's because he's meant for this. And you guys are trying to destroy that by painting him in this bad way by supporting a liar. And it's unbelievable to me. You know, what I would say is get that bitch to take a lie detector test. Everyone will see the truth. But the evidence says it all. So I said my piece and this is all I had to say. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.